<laughs> Kia ora tato. Greetings from Rubira in Sicily. My name is Russell. I'm the principal of Point England School and the convener of the Manaya Kalani Schools. As educators, we're all accustomed to hearing about disparity and, and inequity of outcome within schools and across schools. And when you sum it all up, it looks like a failure of leadership. I began to believe it was. I still think leadership's a problem, but I think it's really important to call the whole thing what it is. The truth is that we have people across the developed world living subsistence lives in developed economies. New Zealand isn't the only place where this is happening, it's a real big problem. And we need to shift people, children and families, out of a subsistence trap that they're stuck in into interdependent capital building. This means building capital of all kinds. It means building cultural capital, building education capital, building financial capital, building spiritual capital is just as important, building artistic capital, and having people be able to move out of an entrapment in subsistence into a capital de developing experience. As practice development has remained reasonably static, sadly, the boundaries between the stratas of society in New Zealand, which in my youth were fairly porous, people moved reasonably easy in and out of the stratas of society, they've ossified into far more fixed fences that are much more difficult to cross. For a decile one family, the journey out of subsistence to capital building of all kinds is much more taxing than when I was 20 and had my first class. My first class, incidentally, was in Glen Innes, near where I still work. Nearly everyone in 1979 had a job. Guess what? The people didn't get dumber. The jobs went away. This is something that happened to them, and if you like, it happened with our collusion, our cognizance. We were all around it when it happened, and we now have a collective responsibility to do something about it. As I've investigated and worked with people across the social service sector, I've discovered that in general our practice is stuffed. I mean it, stuffed. Our training tends to be directed at the world of 30 years ago and is not focused on how to move children and families out of subsistence and the subsistence mindset into capital building citizenship. If the audience for Manea Kalani class on air sees only the video of direct instruction, they will not see at least 70% of the practice change and could be forgiven for thinking not much has changed at all. What has really changed is the connected sequence of teacher planning, preparation, the artefacts of learning, direct instruction, learning production, publishing and reflecting that is available to the learners and whānau ahead of time is accessible, engageable by whānau, rewindable, deprivatised, i.e. public. We need to link evidence to practice across the social service sector to be able to genuinely describe the improved or accelerated journey from subsistence to interdependent capital building. This argues for a degree of coherence in R&D that does not currently exist in New Zealand. We need the trainers of practitioners to be committed to stuff that works irrespective of their preciously held beliefs because there are even more precious lives at stake. 